Well, seen the the club Shay Shay interview with Cat Williams uh, go in mm -hmm. berserk on all the comedians saying like, "Yo, nigga, you stole my fucking joke. You not funny." Um, all y'all are in the Illuminati. Oh, I know you're a big Steve Harvey fan. What do you have? What do you think about you know? Hey, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> yo, 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 putting <laughs> Steve Harvey on me is crazy. <laughs> Let's start that off. Um, nah, man. Um. That nigga has never been funny to me. He's only been funny on fucking uh, Family Feud. Like, let's put this out there right now. Oh, Cat Williams. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Just, uh, oh, no, yeah. I don't know. I'm yeah, Steve Harvey. Yeah. Oh, no. Cat, oh, no. Cat's, okay. Cat's underground king. Like, let's let's not do that. But, um, nah, man. Um, you know, Paul's never trust a man with a mustache that thick, man. He's always up to some something. So I'll leave it at that. Steve Harvey show wasn't that All funny right. to me as well either. It was funny. Steve Harvey show was funny. We're not going to... No. Roy. It was funny. Roy. It's one Roy, of the few... It's one of the few black sitcoms Roy. that we actually remember from the 90s. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to... you remember the Steve Harvey show, nigga. Come on now. What, do we you remember it, really? Do we remember? Yeah, you sat down and watched it with your mom and dad. Don't even lie. You name me one character from that joke besides Mary Beth from, like, all that. I'm not going to any character. Or, or Bullethead. Or, or Bullethead. A Rolodex of fucking anything, everything from my childhood. Oh, yeah. That's no. Oh, that's flattery. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, Y'all just took away two <laughs> characters. I'm pretty sure how many there were like five main cast people, right? Well, the main yes, nigga's name is Steve, so like I hope you get that. <laughs> yeah. Steve, the butler. Right. But he wasn't. The butler. It was Mr. Hightower, I thought. Yes. He Hightower, wasn't Steve Hightower, Harvey. Yeah, it was Mr. Hightower, yeah. Oh, I thought he was Steve. Oh, well, I probably I didn't watch that. I didn't care for it. But y'all, you think there's any like truth to what he's saying about like Hollywood? Like, gotta get these black people in dresses, and um, you know, if you do what they say, you'll get a, a light skinned woman who don't do no interviews or shit like that. You think there's an ability to that? I mean, there has to be some truth to it, considering that mad black oh, actors, mad, mad male oh, black shit. actors have spoken about the dress, and I won't wear the dress, and I won't do this and that for money. And then, like, I mean, we all seen the videos going across Twitter and TikTok of all of the seven, eight different comedians with light skinned women mm -hmm. with weird looking faces don't ever talk and say shit. It's there. I mean, come on, like, it's it's, it's right there in our faces now. Like, is does Cat Williams run a four four? I mean, I saw the video of this man running. I don't know, like, it wasn't like a basketball court. Someone timed him, and it was a four forty. So. Nigga, did you see and the ending scene yards. in Atlanta in Gator told. Man? My man got the fuck and and, <laughs> and flops <laughs> and flip flops. It. Come on now, come on. He was getting it, and and to add uh, add it, that nigga mind you was chopping and looking back. As niggas, we know once we hit go, that's our top speed. We lose when we when we took that, that turn is, back. But that you know what I mean? Even with the turn back, cause still chopping. I don't. I just don't know if everything single thing he said was true. Um, yeah. But I mean. He was responding to niggas, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like that was the whole point of the interviews. He was sitting down, he responded, everybody was talking shit about him, and he was getting shit off his chest. And he said, like, I've been keeping notes for 30 years, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of this shit has been yeah, tracking. Don't think it's... A lot of weird shit's been going on this year. Um, yeah, I don't think it's weird that a lot of our idols or, you know, some idols out there are and have been, like, in dresses like that's not weird to anybody it's been such a normal thing to me that i didn't even look at it like that like they showed like pictures of like keenan and kel and like dresses and like jamie fox i was like and <clears throat> will smith like it has never crossed my mind that like oh they're trying to like emasculate us because again like i think melissa ford brought this up on jp that was like yo what about something like it hot like that old ass movie that's like that's essentially uh white chicks that's essentially what it is um hmm. So I never looked at it like that, but I guess it's a way to look at it. But one thing people were saying, like, yo, Jonathan Majors wore that fucking Doflamingo joint, and y'all was saying it's anime inspiration. What was that not emasculating men right there? Him wearing that thing? And I don't think it was. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if people were just reading in, reading too much into the dress thing. I mean, it don't really. I don't want to wear no dress. Um, but you know, I don't know. What if it makes you look pretty? Bad bitch, though, you know, like guys, yeah, show, show off them legs. <laughs> Come on, man, show off them legs. Definitely want to wear some spanks underneath that. Some compression mm. shorts. I don't want to go free balling with the dress, you know. Mm. <laughs> You're a classy again, lady. Like, I like that. Yeah, 
Yeah, my oh, man. I, right, the, right. I, <laughs> what kind of dress would y'all wear to? Like, are you a sundress oh, nigga? Now you talking? I'm, I'm not yeah, wearing I'm a, no sundress, bro. I'm not wearing. I'm no a sundress. sundress. I'm too tall. I gotta wear a I'm sundress. Not wearing <laughs> <no> sundress. <laughs> About to have your ass poking out and niggas look insane. <laughs> but it, it's got to, it, but it's got to like it's got to like show off my legs. Like a, a tall joint yeah. got to wear a sundress. It's like hand to hand. I'm sorry. Like I got to. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. so crazy. I was thinking like a prom dress, my nigga. Like a sundress is so crazy. <laughs> And I and I wear the flops with it. I'm killing it in that joint, Joe. <laughs> Watch me work. You going, you going with spaghetti straps or just like yo titties? Just oh, like, that is a question. Ooh. I might let titties hang, Joe. Like depending on my mood, you know. If I get excited, get that. Ooh, I might want a little nip slip here and there. Slut. Bro, slut. Bro, slut. I'm just comfortable with what it is, but I mean, you know, hey man, it is what it is. I know. He, how do you feel about Cat Williams? Do you think uh, so? He they showed a clip of like how Cedric Entertainer stole his joke. It's it's pretty much oh, yeah. verbatim. The only thing they should, like change yeah, is, no. like, is a spaceship. Do you think you yeah. know there's a bunch of people just stealing Cat Williams' joke? Do you think he's telling the truth about that? I, I mean, I, I'm not. I know he said the one about Cedric Entertainer. Was there other people who he was saying stole jokes? I uh, was like, um... Steve Harvey, and then he was like, well, oh, okay. "Guys, they're burning That's... back dirty." Essentially, well, yeah. um, the joint that, um, sorry, not to intervene. Uh, the one thing that they huh. did say was that uh, Steve Harvey had stole from uh, Mark Curry. Saying how Mark Curry, Mark Curry had the hanging with Miss, Mr. Cooper, yes. and then yes. Steve Harvey basically just did the same show, but it was, you know, his show. Same thing. Uh, I mean, I think like what Roy said, where I'm like, I believe of, like <laughs> some of that stuff that he was saying, as far as like, you know, how like he feels about the industry and like what he thinks some people are willing to do just to like, get a check or whatever the one that i saw was wild was the ludicrous one where he was like ludicrous uh did that he, they were both offered 200 million dollars or whatever to do 10 movies and it's like what is ludicrous on fast 10 and it was like uh, okay but like I, I then think like some of the stuff where he's like i play 90 games of basketball or, or like 10 games of basketball against my son and i win and i'm like 90 and six or something i'm like all right, is your son shorter than you? Like that's the part. Like, come on, like I just don't. Watch your mouth. That, Watch but... your mouth. <laughs> that three thousand books that he was reading as a yeah, yeah three thousand yeah. five years old. I did the math on that. That's eight books a day. Like, I'm sorry, <laughs> what? <laughs> he didn't like, say there were long hard. books. That's you know, a fact. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, they could be been picture books, man. just like oh, yeah. Yeah. picture yeah. books. Like, 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 like I, I guess, could... but like that's insane. And the hat, green eggs and ham. Like, nigga, I'm knocking those out in a day too. And that's oh. that's not taking anything away from him like i think he's a bit like he's a smart comedian like he like i watched a larry king interview with him years ago like he's like he's a smart comedian and just a smart like person who moves in the business like that's nothing taking that away but then like i said like some of the stuff i think he's like honest about but then like he's like i've turned down 50 million dollars four times i'm like all right like, oh, like, I feel like it's weird that nobody heard about that. Like, I feel like we heard, all heard about the Dave Chappelle thing. And he's like, I got offered four times. It's like, okay, I, maybe once or twice, but four times? That seems like a lot. So it's like, it's kind of like that. I believe some of the stuff, like he's saying more about the industry stuff, but then some of the stuff about himself, I'm not so sure about. But then it's just like, he also, like, I just remember he's like, he roasted the Wanda Smith. I watched that video again. I'm like, fuck, maybe he can do anything because he destroyed her cold. Like, that was amazing. But I don't know. It was a it was a it was a class uh, class uh, act yeah. right there. Um, like I said, she provoked him. Um, you know, don't he's the king of banter's. You know, don't do it. Sharp tongue. Um, he got the work and got the cutting her up, man. Uh, but then her husband allegedly pulled a gun out on this nigga. So was it worth it at the end of the day? Who knows? Yeah, it's still funny. I didn't remember that until he said that. I was like, oh, yeah, I did hear like that happened like the next night or something at a club. Where he tried to, like, that's crazy. I, he probably wasn't expecting like, I'm gonna make fun of your wife. He's gonna try to kill me. Like, that's crazy. And for all allegedly to do was big enough. Like, you know, no fucked up shit. You could more or less just beat the shit out the nigga. You ain't got to kill Cat Williams because he fried your wife. That's crazy. Mm. crazy. Depends if he deep fried her or not. So one thing I did want to bring up <laughs> was oh. like, he, oh, he, did say, he did say like, yo, people were saying like, I was on drugs. It's like that. Like, My body's a temple. Mm. I like, full blown believe this man, Cat Williams was on drugs and that was the reason that he wasn't in things anymore. And Fighting to, find kids. Out this, to find out this man just hasn't been on drugs is insane to me. Is that that's not crazy to y'all? 
I mean, there was already like somebody refuted that. So I'm back yeah. on Fig. Shout out to T Rail. Um, I forgot who it was, but it was one of the dudes on there. He was like, "Bro, I, I don't saw him. We don't saw him down on Figaro buying crack." Like, and then somebody was talking about like, "Oh shit, Dude, we know that he's this nigga don't sold ass for drugs." Like, oh. so yeah, crazy. Yeah, we mean like, crazy. I didn't hear all that. Do we mean dick as an ass or actual man ass? Hey, hey, hey. That's not my. Allegedly, you know allegedly, 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 yeah, allegedly, 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 yeah, allegedly. Hey, it's not bad. But anyways, I won't do that, Pimpin. Pen. Like I said, I think in terms of just like if you just take the interview for what it was, like it's entertaining as fuck, right? Or even if you mm-hmm. don't even call it an interview, right? And then what you should do is just see everybody's reaction. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Seeing all the other comedians' reactions, and then these niggas essentially not refuting shit, just. Like, Ice Cube didn't, I mean, said that nigga didn't tell a lie. He's, he, that's basically <laughs> what Ice Cube said. Ricky Smiley said, "Oh, this is my role," and Catwoman was like, "This nigga's yeah. a full fucking liar." But uh, he went after like trying to refute what they were saying on his podcast. Like he's saying, like Steve Harvey was on here, Ricky Smiley was on here, Cedric was on here. They were all lying. I'm just on here correcting it. So it's like, I'm like, you can't fault him for that. He's like, they're trying to like the thing he was saying about like. I picked the wardrobe. I told him to get the car. I did all this. And then you're just going to be like, that was supposed to be my character. It's like, he built that character. So I understand him being like, you can't just be like, yo, you were going to do all that same shit when I came up with it. Like, I, I understand that. That is um, that is one testament that I will add to Kat. Um, and just, you know, mainly a lot of the roles that he do play in movies and shit uh, in the past or even just currently right now. His roles do stick. That is one thing that he or his, his, his you know, whatever character he's playing, it, it sticks with your head. Um, Paul's, you know, like I said, of course, Money Mike, um, you know, the uh, the dance Gator flick Man. joint, the Nick, yeah, Gator Man, the dance flick joint with Nick Cannon. Um, I mean, the list goes on. Seriously, like I said, he just just something about Cat. Like once he embodies that role, oh, first Sunday, of course, like once he takes over that role, like that role becomes him without him. Without it being cat, if that's a way to say it, like I don't know, it's like a special art. Yeah, he doesn't. Talent. He he doesn't just play himself. <laughs> he plays the character. Like he he embodies the character. You know, it's Cat Williams, but like he embodies that character. He like fleshes it out. Got some good ones off though, where he was like, Cedric Turner has four specials. They're not on Netflix or, or Tubi. Tubi. Which yeah. he's, yeah. he's not yeah. lying. He's yeah. not lying. I, I've been. Now, if you okay. said Cedric isn't funny, I would have been like, all right. I'm I'll say that nigga. That. Cedric ain't funny. Cedric is Steve Harvey. Funny. Cedric Steve Harvey and well. Cedric are only funny in movies, and as in the, the in the list on movies on my end is very 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 finite. And I mean, what you're saying is the Kings of Comedy special is trash. Got it? Yeah, I think that's possibly one of the most overhyped. You said the I mean, I would say, comedy. You're gonna get like four of them. How many? Two of the four. Two of the four. Two of the four. The four, yeah, yeah, half of them, and like I said, DL, you know, DL still good out here, and you know, R.I.P. Bernie and the Mac Man, but like the Bernie yeah. Mac show was amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. well written, yeah. Yeah. Well, well written. Shout out to Bernie Mac, son. Definitely R.I.P. to one of the greats. But uh-huh. Cedric Entertainer and uh, Steve Harvey, uh, not funny, not not stand up see- comedy funny. At least, yeah, you lost you your see, funny. You see, Mike Epps talk about that, just mentioning how uh, he kind of wished that he uh, caught some heat in the midst yeah, of this uh, like, comedian. That was, that was, that that was so fun. funny. He's like, "What about me, man? You, you sent them about me? Like, I got a special. I got a special. <laughs> <laughs> I was there in the nineties. <laughs> um, I mean, now to flip this, you know, let me play devil's advocate, um, right quick, because you know, on the other side, why wait so long? Like, or why just do this at all? If allegedly and supposedly you're the big man, once again, I'm just playing devil's advocate. If allegedly you are the bigger person with a lot of things, why do you feel the need as though to come out and speak about this? Like, at some point, it's 2024, this, nigga. It's like the top of 2024. Oh, yeah. this is I'm living people, my truth. This is oh, what shit. people try and follow up on the resolutions. So he said, I'm sending mm-hmm. on business this year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is his first step toward doing that. He's probably gonna fall off come March, but you know what I'm saying? This is a good start. No, 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 don't do that. He's going, he going on tour. And not only is he going on yeah, tour, yeah, yeah. he got That's Kevin true. Kevin Hart's baby mama opening up for him, son. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> shit. I don't want to pod no more. This thing is getting crazy. What? Nigga, what? Yeah, yeah. That's wild. That's Kevin Hart's baby mama popping on a tour on Apparently she's better than Kevin Hart and she helped him like get to where he is now. I don't know Ooh. how much of that is true. 
But will I be tuning in? Absolutely. To see to see if it is. But that like okay. they it's not his ex wife's not recent. I remember him like Is this that baby? I wanna moms? say one of his know. Yes, this is baby uh, mom. Yeah, this is the first this, this is, is the first that, like, more more recent. This is a, this, nah, this, this, this is the this is a day one like, type. Yeah, yeah this is day yeah. That's, but like he divorced her like from what I remember. The first special I remember him saying that or seeing that was like grown little man, which was like a long ass time ago. So it's like it's not like she's a recent ex wife. He they divorced like I wanna say at least a decade ago. Probably like yeah, almost ten years time. ago, so fifteen. Day one, yeah. Who's to say that he would be where he is now without her, you know? Mm. I mean sure, yeah, it'd definitely be his stand ups have been going downhill, I will admit that. Like I said, you know, once you get famous, you gotta lose the day one. Look at uh, yeah. look at uh Chris Pratt, man. He was married to what's her name? Man, got oh, fit. An- Anna Ferris. Yeah, the yeah. Anna Ferris is like, I'm fit now. I'm getting any bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying you seen Kevin Hart Jones now? Like he pulled Yeah, come on. That, that was all I was just gonna say. That's also like that happens with a lot of stand up comedians who then go like mainstream. They have hmm. to he's basically trying to be like family friendly. I'm doing chase commercials. Like he's trying to that inevitably your stand up's gonna get worse if you were not doing that type of humor before and now you have to pivot to it so shout out to cat babe. williams if he comes you know in my city i might have to buy a ticket 